The Old Testament reading for this, the fourth Sunday of Advent, is from 2 Samuel chapter 7. Now when the king lived in his house, and the Lord had given him rest from all his surrounding enemies, the king said to Nathan the prophet, See now, I dwell in a house of cedar, but the ark of God dwells in a tent. And Nathan said to the king, Go, do all that is in your heart, for the Lord is with you. But that same night the word of the Lord came to Nathan, Go and tell my servant David, Thus says the Lord, Would you build me a house to dwell in? I have not lived in a house since the day I brought up the people of Israel from Egypt to this day, but I have been moving about in a tent for my dwelling. In all places where I have moved with all the people of Israel, did I speak a word with any of the judges of Israel, whom I commanded to shepherd my people Israel, saying, Why have you not built for me a house of cedar? Now, therefore, thus you shall say to my servant David, Thus says the Lord of hosts, I took you from the pasture, from following the sheep, that you should be prince over my people Israel. And I have been with you wherever you went, and have cut off all your enemies from before you. And I will make for you a great name, like the name of the great ones of the earth. And I will appoint a place for my people Israel, and will plant them, so that they may dwell in their own place and be disturbed no more. And violent men shall afflict them no more, as formerly, from the time that I appointed judges over my people Israel. And I will give you rest from all your enemies. Moreover, the Lord declares to you that the Lord will make you a house, and your house and your kingdom shall be made sure forever before me. Your throne shall be established forever. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The epistle is from Romans chapter 16. Now to him who is able to strengthen you according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mysteries, mystery that was kept secret for long ages, but has now been disclosed and through the prophetic writings has been made known to all nations, according to the command of the eternal God to bring about the obedience of faith, to the only wise God be glory forever through Jesus Christ. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We sing the Alleluia found on page 156. Alleluia, alleluia Lord, to whom shall we go? Ah. Alleluia, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Alleluia, alleluia. The Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, the first chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, O favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying and tried to discern what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, which means he saves. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, how will this be, since I am a virgin? And the angel answered her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. 
And Mary said, Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. This is the gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Our hymn of the day is hymn 357, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lonely exile here until the Son of God appear. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel, shall come to thee, O Israel. O come, thou wisdom from on high, who orderest all things mightily to us, the path of knowledge show, and teach us in her ways to go. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel, shall come to thee, O Israel. O come, O come, thou Lord of might, who to thy tribes on Sinai's height in ancient times didst give the law, in cloud and majesty and awe. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. O come, thou branch of Jesse's tree, free them from Satan's tyranny that trust thy mighty power to save. And give them victory o'er the grave. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel, shall come to thee, O Israel. O come, thou key of David, come. And open wide our heavenly home. Make safe the way that leads on high. And clothe the path to misery. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel. Shall come to thee a Oh, come thou day spring from on high, and cheer us by thy drawing nigh. Disperse the gloomy clouds of night, and as dark shadows put to flight. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel, shall come to thee, O Israel. O come, desire of nations, bind in one the hearts of all mankind. Bid thou our sad division cease, and be thyself our King of peace. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, 
of Israel.